Global hunger has been a problem for a while. There has been people that have tried to solve it, but it's a lot harder than people think. Global hunger refers to the groups of population who regular don't, regularly don't get enough food. I want to find the best solution so I can end world hunger. And the first source that I found is how a farmer has produced enough calories to adequately feed the entire world. Um, the global trend is moving the right direction though. So, uh, between 1990 and 2015, the prevalence of undernourished people in developing countries declined from 23.3 to 12.9%. If you ask me, that's a pretty big drop. Seven or more for the time, first time in history that the end of uh, world hunger and within reach. But while the world is now closer than ever, before ending world hunger, there is still a lot that we need to do. About 690 million people are globally now, uh, globally are undernourished at this point. Now, me being a human, I feel like I am credible to talk about this because I see it all the time when I go downtown in Kansas City. There's a bunch of homeless camps and there's always a bunch of food drives out there that are trying to do the best they can so they can help the community, which I want to be a part of. World hunger is a problem that needs to be to have a greater recognition. And it, it and other world problems can be solved if people just stand together and believe in each other and take action. My main point would be the number of people that we had were undernourished and how we can solve this world problem. One way we can solve world hunger is just coming together as a community simply. We can always help each other in any way um, by either getting canned foods, um, donating to homeless shelters, clothes even like would help. Um, and honestly, what I think that the top thing that coming together as a community would help is just making us stronger as a unit. That is one thing that I wish that other people would see other than just gimme, 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 and not just seeing how other people's situations might affect them in the long run. Um, the source that I chose, the first source, helps me understand that world hunger is possible to overcome. Just seeing the percentages back to 2015, 2015 is astonishing. As up to date that we are at 9.9% .9 of people that are still struggling with world hunger, which is still pretty high. My second source is about a scientist, which is good because you need multiple perspectives to truly understand why world hunger it was so bad and now getting better. This source is about a scientist, Professor Moncombo Sambisiv Swaminthan, and his journey on how to stop world hunger. Um, he went to many different colleges and has a PhD in it. He has a PhD degree, which is very credible if you ask me. Throughout his journey, he understands why world hunger it comes up with solutions to stop world hunger. This source helps me statement helps my statement and helps me understand how long world hunger has been a thing and what kind of solutions we need to do so we can solve this problem. Yet again, my my solution would be coming together as a community and donating as much as we can and giving the little stuff away or even getting in contact with farmers that have extra crops or even just making a deal with them. That that also like relays back to my first source because farmers have had made or produced enough calories to adequately uh, feed the world. Uh, my third source is about a young adult who is privileged and doesn't understand world hunger. So the student that participated and learned about the causes and the impact of the world hunger and global poverty, perhaps the greatest human rights crisis is the world today are the devastating effects of poverty and hunger in developing countries. According to Sach, in 2005, more than 10 million children in developing world die from each year from diseases stemming from simple malnourishing. One in 10 children from these countries will die before reaching the age of five. 
that is simply outrageous. This year, the United States will spend approximately $16 billion a year fighting global poverty and 30 times that amount to $450 billion on its defense budget. So my three main sources all wrap up into one and go back into my main point. If we all come together as a community, we can solve this problem and end world hunger. Thank you.